everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to automate our workflow using python script so begin a clip of a country layer and count the number of places using a buffer tool in rgis pro and we're going to make the entire workflow automated using python script so now let's get started so in our previous video we have used our uh, select tool to select the country of our choice and created a buffer of 300 kilometer and we have clipped the by you clip the places uh, layer using the buffer of 300 kilometer and counted the number of places within the country buffer of 300 kilometer so now we're going to make it uh, the entire workflow automation so now let's get started so to do that uh, first uh, we have to navigate to this option called in the analysis so navigate to this option called analysis in that we're going to click this option called uh, the geo processing history so we're going to click this so now here a window pop up saying uh, history that is geo processing so now in the history uh, window uh, we're going to double click this option called the select tool and uh, this uh, reloads that into our geo processing pane with the same parameter we have used in last time so now uh, we're going to change the output feature class from uh, australia to uh, country so now let me change that so now we are going to enter the name as uh, the country name so we are going to type as country name so now I have entered as country name so I decided to call it uh, that so that a feature class of the same name gets created every time I go through this workflow so now we are going to change the name of the country here I am going to change the country name to Egypt so now let me select Egypt so now uh, let me select Egypt. So once you did that, we're gonna click this option called verify the SQL expression is valid. So the SQL expression is valid. So now we're gonna click this option called run. So it's gonna create our uh, country name uh, shape file here. So it has created a country name shape file. So now uh, we're gonna zoom to this country name layer. We're gonna right click and we're gonna click this option called zoom to layer. So now let's make uh, let's change the color of this particular uh, shape file. So we're gonna click this option called yellow. So we have changed the color, and now we're gonna get back to our catalog uh, section here. There is our history. We're gonna click history, and now uh, we're gonna double click this tool called buffer. And now we're gonna change the input feature to our country name. And now I'm going to change the output feature class name here. Let me click this. So I'm going to change to country name underscore buffer. So now let me enter country name. So now I have entered as country name underscore buffer. So now uh, we're going to leave the linear unit in kilometers and the distance to be in 300. So we're going to leave the rest to our default and we're going to click uh, this option called run. So once we have done uh, run this tool, so we have our country name buffer here, so we can able to uh, view that. And now we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go back to our history, geo processing history. So next we're gonna double click our this uh, tool called clip tool. So the input feature will be our uh, populated places, and the clip feature is gonna be our the country name uh, buffer. And the output uh, feature class name will be the po populated places underscore clip dot shape file. So now we're going to run this tool. So we're going to click this option called run. And now here you can able to visualize our uh, populated place underscore clip. And now we're going to change the color of our populated place clip. We're going to change the color of this. So we're going to change to uh, red. So now we can able to visualize. And now we're going to navigate to our geo processing history. So now we're going to click this tool called get count. Double click. So this is our get count tool. And now the input uh, row will be our populated places uh, clip. So we're going to run it to find out how many places the, there are, are within uh, the 300 kilometer of uh, Egypt. So now we're going to click run. So we have our result here. So here you can able to visualize in the message section. 
So there is a total of around 78 places uh, in Egypt with a 300 kilometer buffer. So now we have uh, counted the number of places uh, around the three kilo, uh, 300 kilometer buffer of Egypt. So uh, now I want to uh, use a geoprocessing history to write some Python code for uh, me instead of uh, using uh, it to rerun the tools from their dialog. So now I could like to open the Python windows uh, in the analysis tab. So we're going to click this option here. So to open the Python windows, uh, we have to navigate to this option uh, in the view section here. So in that, we're going to click this option called Python windows. So here you can, uh, in the below you can able to observe the Python windows. Uh, suppose you, if you are not able to find the Python windows, you have to navigate to this option view section. And in that, you have to click this option called Python windows. So now uh, I want to override the feature class rather than uh, delete them in advance. So for that, we're going to enter as uh, rpy uh, dot env dot override output. So we're going to enter that. So first we're going to mention as rpy. So I have entered as rpy dot env dot override. So we're going to click this. So let me uh, expand this section here. And we're going to click equal and enter as true and also we're going to navigate to our geoprocessing history so we're going to move on to this option here in analysis and we're going to click this option called geoprocessing history so here you can able to observe our tools and now uh, i'm going to right click on the most recent uh, select tool so that is this is our most recent select tool so now i'm going to click this right click so uh, I'm going to cl click this option called send uh, to the python windows. So in the python windows uh, I'm going to alter this uh, country name from Egypt to uh, India. So now I have entered as uh, India. So now I'm going to enter to uh, run this uh, line of code. So uh, so it first deletes the cell country uh, that is over. So it first uh, deletes the country name feature class and uh, removes the layer that uh, used it as a its source and then it creates a new feature class and uh, creates a new layer using a new feature class as uh, as its source and uh, but unfortunately it had lost its symbology so uh, i will need to change the color so for our uh, country name so now uh, we're gonna zoom to the layer so we're gonna uh, click this uh, country name we're gonna right click and uh, we're gonna click this option called zoom to layer so here you can able to observe the country and I'm going to change the color. I'm going to change it to a uh, green color. So now here you can able to visualize it. Right click on uh, the buffer tool. So we're going to right click on this recent buffer tool and we're going to click this option called send to uh, Python windows. So once you did that, we're going to click enter to run this tool. Let me click enter. So it's running the tool here in the Python windows. So here you can able to visualize the result here. So it has created a buffer of 300 meter around this particular country. So you can able to view that. And similarly in the geoprocessing history window, we're going to right click uh, on the clip, the recent clip tool here. I'm going to right click and uh, we're going to click this option called send to the python windows and now i'm going to click enter so it's running our uh, clip tool here in the python windows and now we're going to change our uh, color of this particular symbol here the fourth of our populated place underscore clip so we have created a buffer and we have uh, clipped uh, using our buffer tool to uh, clip out the places so we're going to change the color for this particular uh, here I'm going to change to a uh, green uh, red color so now we can able to differentiate between uh, the populated place clip here versus the, versus the other layer called populated places and now uh, to count the number of places uh, we're going to use this particular tool called get count so we're going to right click and uh, we're going to click this option called send to the python windows so now here you can able to visualize uh, 
arpython.management.getcountpopulatedplace.lib. So we can count the number of places within this buffer of 300 kilometers using our get count tool in the Python windows. So and now I'm gonna click enter. So we can able to visualize here the result is counted around 318 places within the 300 kilometer buffer of this particular country. So it counted the number of places to be around 318. So now the Python window has uh, uh, five lines of code that I could like to use in the Python script, and uh, I want to. So I want to uh, run that code outside the RGIS Pro from the Python idle. So now uh, to save uh, me rewriting or uh, copy pasting those five lines of code, I'm going to right click in the Python. Uh, so now to save our uh, script, we're going to right click on the Python windows and we're going to click this option called Save Transcript. So now I'm going to save my transcript uh, in my in this particular folder. So I'm going to give it a name as a. So now I have ent uh, entered as count places for country dot py. So here the py represents the file format that is a Python script file. So and now we're gonna click save to save this transcript. So in this video I have shown you how to utilize the Python script to clip the country layer and count the number of places in RGIS Pro and making the workflow completely automated. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.